Attention, dear citizens. This is an emergency notification. Please listen closely and do not switch your channel. It is with grave concern that the Department of Homeland Security must address the current state of civil unrest within our borders. We have received reports indicating heightened tensions and violent confrontations in various border states, notably Texas, Arizona, and California. These tensions have arisen as a result of the government's refugee policy, which aims to address issues related to illegal immigration and labor on the border. Recent governmental initiatives have been implemented to combat illegal immigration and labor within the border states. These efforts include stringent border controls, identification checks, and deportation measures, targeting undocumented immigrants residing and working within our borders. The escalating tensions have led to regrettable acts of vandalism, property damage, and physical altercations, jeopardizing public safety and security. We must stress that the government's refugee policy is intended to address humanitarian crises and fulfill our international obligations. However, polarizing debates surrounding immigration and border security have led to this regrettable unrest. We advise all citizens to exercise caution and vigilance when navigating areas of potential unrest. Avoidance of demonstrations, protests, and gatherings is strongly recommended to mitigate the risk of harm. Additionally, we urge individuals planning travel to or through affected border states to reconsider their plans and prioritize safety. Law enforcement agencies at the local, state, and federal levels are actively engaged in addressing the civil unrest and maintaining public order. Enhanced security measures have been implemented to mitigate the impact of these disturbances. We call upon all members of the community to demonstrate resilience, restraint, and cooperation during this challenging time. Upholding the principles of peaceful protest and lawful dissent is essential to safeguarding our democratic values and preserving social cohesion. The Department of Homeland Security, in collaboration with other federal agencies and law enforcement partners, will continue to monitor the situation closely and provide updates as necessary. Our commitment to protecting the homeland and upholding the rule of law remains unwavering. Thank you for your attention and cooperation. Ladies and gentlemen, we have breaking news coming in. We're connecting live to the Minister of Defense, who is making a statement at this very moment. Let's listen in. Um, yeah. Esteemed citizens, at this critical juncture in our nation's history, the Ministry of Defense is compelled to address you directly 
regarding the escalating civil unrest that has gripped several border states of the United States. As you are undoubtedly aware, the situation in Texas, Arizona, California, New Mexico, and select areas of Oklahoma has reached a critical tipping point, necessitating swift and decisive action. In response to the gravity of the circumstances, the President of the United States has authorized the deployment of additional military forces to these affected regions. These forces have been entrusted with the solemn duty of restoring law and order, and their deployment is a testament to the unwavering commitment of our government to uphold the safety and security of all citizens. Furthermore, recognizing the urgent need to address the ongoing crisis, the President has declared a state of emergency in the aforementioned border states. This declaration grants enhanced authority to federal agencies, empowering them to take all necessary measures to quell the unrest and mitigate its impact on our communities. It is imperative that we, as a nation, stand united in the face of adversity. The challenges we confront demand unity of purpose, resolve, and unwavering determination. As our brave men and women in uniform deploy to the front lines, let us offer them our unwavering support and gratitude for their service to our nation. To our fellow citizens residing in the affected regions, we urge you to remain vigilant, stay informed, and heed the guidance of local authorities. Your safety and well-being are paramount, and every effort is being made to ensure that order is swiftly restored and peace is preserved. In times of crisis, the strength of our nation is tested, but it is also when our resilience shines brightest. Together, let us face these challenges with courage, unity, and unwavering resolve. May God bless the United States of America. Good evening, folks. You're tuned in to Voices of Resilience, where we bring you the raw, unfiltered stories of strength from the streets. I'm your host, Johnny, and tonight we've got some real heavy stuff to lay on you. Now, before we dive in, let me tell you, the streets are hot tonight. We're talking chaos, mayhem, and the fight for survival. We've got folks calling in from all over, sharing their tales of grit and determination in the face of adversity. Hey Johnny, it's Maria from Tucson. I gotta tell you, it's like a war zone out here. But you know what? We're not backing down. We're standing strong, looking out for each other, and showing those government goons that we won't be pushed around. You tell them, Maria. That's the spirit we need right now. Who else we got on the line? Hey, Johnny, it's Sam from San Diego. Man, things are getting real bad down here. But you know what? We're not giving up without a fight. We're standing up to those rebel scum and showing them what we're made of. That's what I like to hear, Sam. Keep that fighting spirit alive. Let's hear from some more folks out there. Johnny, it's Carlos from El Paso. We're under siege out here, but we're not going down without a fight. That's the spirit, Carlos. The people united will never be defeated. You heard it here first, folks. Unity, resilience, and the unwavering spirit of the people. That's what's keeping us going in the... This frequency is currently suspended by government request. Apologies for the inconvenience. The National Emergency Management Agency issues this urgent broadcast to address the escalating crisis gripping our nation and the imperative actions required to ensure the safety and well-being of all citizens. As we confront the unprecedented challenges posed by the ongoing civil unrest and violent clashes in several regions, it is paramount that we take decisive measures to protect lives and mitigate further harm. In light of the intensifying violence and instability in the most volatile regions of our country, the National Emergency Management Agency hereby issues an evacuation order for all civilians residing within these areas. It is imperative that individuals and families residing in these high-risk zones evacuate immediately to designated safe zones identified by the National Emergency Management Agency and local authorities. 
Military escorts will be provided to ensure the safe passage of evacuees and to maintain order during the evacuation process. Emergency shelters have been established in strategic locations to provide aid and assistance to displaced civilians affected by the conflict. These shelters will offer temporary refuge, food, water, medical care, and other essential services to those in need. Citizens are urged to seek refuge in these designated safe zones as soon as possible to receive the necessary support and protection from the ongoing violence and instability. Cooperation with evacuation orders and instructions from law enforcement and military personnel is mandatory for the safety of all citizens. Failure to comply may result in delays or complications during the evacuation process. Prior to evacuation, gather essential supplies such as food, water, clothing, medications, important documents, and other personal belongings. Ensure that you have enough supplies to sustain yourself and your family during the evacuation and sheltering period. Stay safe, stay vigilant, and may God bless America.